this video series, we are learning how breeding programs are trying to help honeybees to fight varroa mite infestation. In our previous videos, we learned that the Asian honeybee Ape serrana, the original host of varroa mites, already have several genetic traits that make them resistant to varroa mites and could be used as our starting point for breeding programs. One important genetic trait found in Ape serrana responsible for its capacity to live together with varroa mite without many problems is a strong hygienic behavior. Ape serrana are capable to recognize and remove infested brood cells of worker bees very efficiently. When you see this bee surviving so well against varroa destructor, it is very intuitive to believe they are stronger than the European honeybee apes mellifera. However, that might not be the case. New evidence shows that they are actually more susceptible to varroa mite infestation comparing with the western honeybee apes mellifera. How in the world weakness toward mite parasitism could be the secret of ape serrana to beat this terrible parasite? This video is brought to you by our fans on Patreon. If you enjoy learning about bees, please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep teaching people all over the world for free. Eusocial insects form superorganisms in which nest mates cooperate and use social immunity to fight parasites. Hygienic behavior is a social immune behavior where sick brood are recognized and removed by worker bees to avoid the spread of diseases throughout the whole colony. It is one of the many social immune behaviors inside a honeybee colony. In the case of varroa mite parasitism, as we saw in my video with Dr. Kara Wagner, the infested apes mellifera honeybee brood emit a chemical sign that the adult bees are able to identify and respond by removing the affected sick brood from the nest. This signaling communication is a tricky game honeybees need to play to thrive in nature. In a honeybee nest, waste is something not tolerable. That being said, if a honeybee colony is too sensitive to detect diseases and remove sick brood, this colony will lower the chances of the brood to fight the disease itself and become part of the workforce, which will be a waste of resources put in to raise that brood. On the other hand, if a colony is not sensitive at all to detect sick brood, it will increase the chances of disease spreading and death. In the case of the Asian honeybee Ape serrana, varroa infested brood cells are removed almost immediately by worker bees, suggesting two possibilities. One, the worker bees are more sensitive to detect the same signal levels emitted by sick brood or the brood is emitting stronger chemical signals. With that in mind, researchers hypothesized that Ape serrana might be more sensitive to varroa mite infestation, making the brood sicker and therefore emitting more signals for easier detection and removal of infested cells. In 2016, researchers from Switzerland, Thailand and South Africa published a scientific article describing a series of experiments trying to answer this question. Using wax combs, researchers infested apes mellifera worker larvae and compared with infested larvae from three populations of apes serrana. These wax combs containing infested and non-infested control brood cells were placed in an incubator mimicking hive conditions for brood development. The cells were opened one day before the expected emergence date for evaluation of the brood conditions. With this experiment, researchers will be able to see the damage caused by varroa mite in these two honeybee species without the interference of worker bees that could be influencing in the overall health of the brood. The data show a striking difference of the effect of varroa mite parasitism between apes serrana and apes mellifera. The development of apes mellifera brood infested by varroa destructor was similar to the non-infested controls. However, in all three Ape serrana populations, the story was completely different. The great majority of the infested brood were heavily damaged and underdeveloped compared with the controls. The overall development of Ape serrana brood cells was significantly delayed compared with Apes mellifera. If that's happening inside a hive, it is very plausible to believe that despite all assumptions implicated in the signaling process, the difference in brood susceptibility observed in Ape serrana is likely to trigger an earlier and more frequent production of signals, ultimately leading to a more efficient hygienic behavior and overall enhanced social immunity in these bees. To test this hypothesis, the researchers subjected larvae of both species to a standardized benign wounding 
and either place them in an incubator to monitor their development or back into honeybee colonies. Interestingly, even with everybody receiving the same wound, Ape serona brood died more quickly and in greater proportions compared with Apes mellifera, in both incubator conditions and inside the colonies. Ape serona workers removed the wounded brood significantly more and faster than Apes mellifera. These results combined show that Ape serona brood was affected faster and to a higher degree by the same wounding conditions than Apes mellifera, and that wounded brood could be detected by workers for a more efficient hygienic removal. The higher proportion of brood removed by the workers in the colonies compared with the researcher's estimate of brood death in the incubator is likely due to the sensitivity of workers to dysfunctional individuals that could have survived in incubator conditions. Meaning that the honeybee's Ape serrana social organism is behaving like the immune system of a multicellular organism, where infected sick cells can trigger a self-destruction mechanism to protect the neighbor cells from infection and this way maximizing the survival chance of the whole organism. It is an altruistic behavior by some individuals to protect the group. This process is called apoptosis, and honeybees ape serrana are behaving in a similar way where each brood cell, by being very sensitive to infection and wounding, die faster in an altruistic way to be eliminated faster protecting the nestmates. So the real secret of ape serrana to defeat varroa destructor is not that they are stronger to the infection process, Actually, it is the opposite. The brood are weaker to wounding, getting sicker faster, allowing easier detection and removal to protect the social group. The colony working together found a powerful way to minimize the exponential replication of this terrible mite. In this case, not only more varroa mites will be eliminated by hygienic behavior, but also it will limit the incubation time process for a successful replication of this mite. Less mites replicating, less problems. In honeybees, apes mellifera, the case is the opposite. The brood are stronger to the infestation and therefore are less damaged compared with ape serrana, emitting lower signals to worker bees to perform hygienic behavior. And this way, unfortunately, apes mellifera cannot find the infested cells easily, allowing the mite to complete the replication cycle. More mites equals more problems. Mind blowing. I don't know about you guys at home, but honeybees never stop surprising me. How do you think we can use this information to help the European honeybees apes mellifera? Do you think we can select honeybees apes mellifera with similar features? Do you think that could come with some potential problems? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. In this video series, we are looking to the different genetic traits breeder can use to help the European honeybees apes mellifera. And if you like this video, you might also like this one right here. I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting the creation of these videos and you for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week.